Gagan Mohindra. Madam Deputy Speaker, it's a real honour to follow the right honourable member from East Ham, an area that I was actually brought up in, so uh, some fond memories from his part of the world. Uh, can I firstly welcome uh, the right honourable member for Central Devon to his place, uh, and actually, indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. a whole new front bench. Um, as we all know, our country finds itself in an incredibly difficult economic position, and I look forward to hearing the Chancellor's physical event next week. Indeed, my friend from Guildford made a really important intervention earlier about actually why the slight delay is required <coughs> to ensure that we have the OBR figures that all sides of the House wanted uh, when we previously spoken about our finances. My party has a strong record of supporting older people, and I hope this record will continue. It now needs to be more than ever. One of the highlights, I think, over the last 12 years of our government has been something called the auto-enrolment for small companies, for, for employees. Um, it's meant that 88% of those eligible employees now have a saving pot that they wouldn't have necessarily been encouraged to do have before. My right honourable friend, the member for Richmond, took the necessary steps during the pandemic to keep our economy afloat, but those decisions came at a cost. In the wake of this spending, coupled with the awful Putin's illegal war in Ukraine, we are now facing a cost of living crisis. Sacrifices must be made. The Chancellor has some extremely difficult decisions to make, the results of which we will hear in nine days. With the current cost of, uh, the current cost of the living crisis, most notably the hike in energy bills, it's more important than ever to protect the most vulnerable members of our society. I'm grateful to the government for the work it is doing to support pensioners at this difficult time. As we enter the colder months, I'm particularly proud of their commitment to help energy bills keep, be kept as low as possible, with the additional support that it's specific to pensioners, including the £300 that they will receive from the winter fuel payments. Like many of my colleagues, uh, I've received countless uh, correspondence from my constituents pleading to hopefully retain the triple lock and I look forward to that, hopefully that decision being the case in nine days. Um, where I do hope the Chancellor will continue to do the work, good work that he's already doing um, and I look forward to uh, honouring the commitments that we've historically made in our manifesto. But in some up, if I may, um, the White Honourable Member from East Town, um, and I agreed with him on this point, uh, mentioned that actually where people have done the correct thing before, we should make sure that actually we protect them as much as possible because it, we should always look to incentivise good and best behaviour uh, and I hope on the statement we'll hear next, next week that is indeed the case. Thank you, Madam. Yeah.